Throughout the history of cinema, there have been makers of celluloid fantasy, inimitable visionaries who were ahead of their time. The Lumiere brothers, Orson Welles, Stanley Kubrick. But there is one auteur whose name belongs amongst these others, a man whose name has now shamefully fallen into obscurity. Steve Odekirk. The man behind such cinema classics as Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, and the 1997 Tim Robbins and Martin Lawrence vehicle, Nothing to Lose. But the true masterwork, the apex of Odekirk's career, is Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I need gopher chucks. A movie that has it all, claps, feels, thrills, and chills. A film both underseen and critically panned in its day by some asshole piece of shit film critics who were too dull and myopic to get that this movie was freaking hilarious, as well as pioneering. But Kung Pao Enter the Fist isn't just pure comedic gold. It was also a technical feat, combining clips from the 1976 kung fu film Savage Killers with Oda Kirk's own original footage to create a completely new story. This combination of original and archival footage had been used before in such acclaimed films as What's Up Tiger Lily and Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, but never before in quite this way. In Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, green screen, clever editing, masterful VO work, and absurdist CGI elements all work in concert with one another to create a veritable laugh generator. Truly, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. What's wrong? Kung Pao, Enter the Fist was made for $10 million, a relatively low budget considering the ambition of the film. Nevertheless, Oderkirk persisted and used this limitation to his advantage. He realized that by embracing the very things that people would consider technical flaws, it would enhance the idea he was going for, which was creating a campy, grainy, poorly dubbed kung fu flick, lampooning it as only a fan of the genre could. Well, at least I have you, boy. That's good, clean fun. What are you guys doing with my equipment? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Give me, give me! Give me the freaking light! How fast do you think you can run? Oh. Okay, we got the mark. Matt, where's the part on Maison Song? I, we dropped it when we were running, dude. I just pick a spot. Uh, uh, so, so now. Let's have you all take a stroll with us down the the Calle du Cinema, uh, aka the Streets of Cinema. Homage. It's a French word roughly translating to tribute, and examples of directors paying homage, generally to other films or directors that came before them, abound throughout the history of cinema. A perfect example of this is one scene from Kung Pao Enter the Fist where Odekirk, as the chosen one, encounters a cow named Moon Yu grazing in the pasture. Hmm. <laughs> now, if you watch closely, what Odekirk does here, as a student of culture, is an homage to a particularly well-known movie of the time. Did you catch that? That's right, Steve Oderkirk is paying homage to the 1999 Wachowski film, Matrix. The main reason why Kung Pao Enter the Fist still holds up 
breaking through the boundaries of comedy and achieving an almost transcendent silliness is because Steve Oderkirk follows one simple rule, a rule that he commits to very hard. And that rule is that no idea is too stupid, weird, or out of place so long as it's funny to him. Follow the funny, baby. If Oderkirk thinks it's funny, then it's going in the friggin' movie. Now this adherence to the funniness principle means that Kung Pao Enter the Fist oftentimes barely manages to stay within the boundaries of its already threadbare plot. Now this can be off-putting to Philistine audiences who are looking for the traditional semblance of narrative on which to hang their comedy hats. No such luck with Kung Pao Enter the Fist. It's too bold to cater to these traditionalists. You disgust me. For Kung Pao Enter the Fist, there are no stabilizing moments. It is all pure silliness, pure insanity. And in its commitment to ridiculousness, it oddly enough achieves its own internal consistency and becomes a deeply personal statement. The Lynchian dream logic of Odekirk's galaxy brain. <laughs> oh, oh no, no it's, it's Pat! <laughs> Jake, take the camera. Finish the video. Okay. okay. Uh, so in conclusion, Kung Pao is it's just a really great film and it deserves a better release. It's not on Blu-ray at the moment. And look, it's just one of those things that deserves special... I'm really sorry about that, everyone. Uh, that, was, that, that was unplanned. Uh, we weren't supposed to have a video out this week, but I promise next week we've got something really exciting for you. A uh, new video as scheduled, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, make sure to follow me on all the social media links, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, the usual stuff. See you soon. So as you just saw, Matt and Jake here have a lot to learn about making videos. <laughs> yeah, we're bad. We like learning by doing. So to make up for using my equipment without my permission, I'm making them learn how to actually make videos the right way with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes taught by experts and professionals. And a lot of those classes are on the many aspects of video production. So guys, what class are you taking right now? Uh, well, right now we're taking Green Screens, Properly Lighting and Keying by Robert Florence. Cool. Yeah, you were pretty bad at the green screen stuff. So how's this going? I mean, we're learning a lot. Can we make another video essay real soon? Uh, maybe some other time after you've learned more about After Effects. So if you want to improve your skills and learn more about video production or anything else, sign up for Skillshare at the link in the description and you'll get two free months and you can start learning today. Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Uh, look, we did another little bonus video because it's April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. We I wanted to give you guys something silly to watch today. I relinquished some control to these guys. That's true. And, um, and Jake, you, you guys do genuinely like Kung Pao. Yeah, so look, we did the video as a joke because uh, Kung Pao is a ridiculous movie. But, in all honesty, we actually unironically love the movie Kung Pao Into the Fist and wanted to also make a recommendation for all you people watching on the channel right now to check out Steve Odekirk's very bizarre NBC special that aired in 1997, of which there is a link on YouTube. It's in the description. In the description, thank you, sorry, below, that uh, we highly recommend you watch. It is very, very fucked up. <laughs> I, have, I have not watched it. I also have not watched Kung Pao. I've never seen it. Yeah. Uh, so this, this is not my recommendation. This is the Torpy's recommendation. Yeah. So. Matt would recommend too, but he's not with me right now. Yeah, uh, so that's just the last thing. Uh, uh, you know, feel free to pledge to our Patreon uh, to help support th th this channel. Yeah, let us know below if you freaking love Kung Pao, <laughs> like me and Matt do. <laughs> let us know. Please. We want to know who's out there that actually feels the same way as us. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>